S&P 500 E-mini futures on the daily chart. Price and trading below that 200 moving average. Series of lower highs and lower lows. On the hourly chart, we are demonstrating strength getting up above the 200 moving average with a series of higher lows. Taking a quick look at this pullback over here, I was scrolling back, scrolling back to the month of July. In the month of July, we have very similar chart patterns where price got up above the 200 moving average, pulled back, and continued the upward trend. Coming back to October, we have a symmetry support. In addition, we can use our pivot tracing next. Clicking from this pivot low to pivot high will first provide 50%. Now, in addition, I'm going to pull again using this pivot low to pivot high, and that's going to provide a 382. We are evaluating this pocket of potential support to see if it can hold for more upside. On the 15 minute time frame, we do have a trigger to go long. What you can do here, you can be a little bit more patient. You can wait until price hurdles above that 200 moving average on the 15 minute time frame before going long. Of course, none of this financial advice. Hi everyone, John here. I recently put together a PDF on Fibonacci trading. You guys can check out the link in the descriptions below. I will put it in the comments. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? We go over setups and cryptocurrencies as well as US equities to help you grow your account. Subscribe now and hit that notification button. We look to hear from you in the comments area.